It is possible to set up archive functionality for master data informations that you can use for, of course, archiving when the data is changing. You could also set up the change lock, but the point is that you can set up only the master data that you would like to archive and the user interface is very easy to overview. So for instance, if you use the serial number list for maybe quality control or handling specific data on your serial numbers, you can have a specification, oh, sorry here, master data specifications. And once you change some of those information code, you might say that I'd like to archive on my assigned date so I can see who had this computer on what dates. I would like the last service date to be archived, but I don't want the brand to be archived when somebody changed that. So in this example, if I'm changing my last service dates and I set it up to be archived, and let's say that I'm changing this one to uh, another date, whatever, like this. And in here I can see my archived interests. Last service date used to be 1st of June 16, and it was changed to a new value, 4th of June 20, and it was changed on this date by the user out here. And likewise, if I'm changing it again to a new date, I can even write a T for today. It will, of course, archive that as well. So now I have two archived entries in here that I can follow. This way, it will archive functionality for all of the records you set up. And when you look into the archived entries, you can see the entries for, for, for this complete uh, setup serial number you see here. You could do the same on items, of course, customers, vendors, and so on.